In Europe, the Second World War is never far away. From bunkers and dragon teeth in the dunes to memorials and monuments in town centers, and stories our grandparents told, like that of the Battle of the Scheldt, a cruel clash in the Scheldt estuary. Since the improvised port in Normandy was stretched to its limits, trying to supply the Allied forces all over Western Europe, the Allied leaders knew the key to winning this war was to gain access to the port of Antwerp. To succeed, the Allies had to clear the Scheldt estuary, one of the most heavily defended parts of the German Atlantic Wall. No wonder then that, in the autumn of 1944, one of the largest and bloodiest battles in the Second World War took place on the Dutch and Belgian soil around the Scheldt estuary. Under the leadership of the 1st Canadian Army, and with the help of British, Polish, French, Norwegian, Belgian and American soldiers, it would take five long weeks of fighting to clear the Scheldt, and three more before the first ship arrived in Antwerp. During this period of heavy fighting, well over 10,000 military and civilian lives were lost. The infantry had put up a bloody and muddy fight for every inch of Brabant, Zeeland, and Flanders. These regions were a patchwork of flatlands and islands, surrounded by dunes, dikes, and water. Landings by sea were conducted on several sites. The RAF even bombed dikes, hoping that flooding the islands would decrease the German resistance. Now, more than 75 years later, we are standing here at one of the many war cemeteries that riddle the flat countryside of the Low Countries, no longer enemies, but side by side. 